Hello, Devanj. First of all, thank you for inviting me to your show. It's been a great pleasure. Um, my journey uh, started when I was seven years old back in New Delhi, India. Uh, my father and my chacha, they all were into hockey and football. So they would go into the local field with their friends and play football and hockey. And uh, because I was the oldest kid in the house, they would take me. So I don't bother my uh, mom or chachi at home. So over there, other cricket academies were also practicing. So I used to stand there and watch them play cricket. And that's how I developed a love for the game. And the coach over there uh, spoke to my father. He said that this kid helps uh, my senior players sometimes by throwing them the balls and they let them back sometimes. So I think he could do decent in cricket. So why don't you put him in the academy? And that's how the journey started for me in India. And then I went on to play for um, my school, my state. And um, that, that's for the time when I joined clubs like Elvi Shastri, Sonnet, and got a chance to play with uh, big names of world cricket today. Uh, yes, uh, like I said in my previous answer, my dad and my chacha both were a uh, football and hockey player. And um, but I personally never liked either of those sports. I don't even like watching it to some extent, unless it's a World Cup or something like that or Olympics. Uh, but cricket was something I would see cricketers playing in school. And then when my dad and his friends are playing football, I would sit there and watch the cricket clubs practicing. I I always like batting, especially when I like see the batsman hitting a lot of sixes and stuff like that. You know, that would really pump me up and say that, you know what, I want to do that one day. So uh, that's where my dad and the coach spoke and uh, they added me to the academy. And that's where my cricket career started. Well, uh, growing up, I never had anything like, you know, role model in my life in cricket. Like, because when you're playing cricket uh, with that intensity yourself, at times you forget that you want to be like somebody else. You just want to be something on your own. But uh, if you could say that uh, my best and favorite batsman was Sachin Tendulkar. And I always uh, loved the bowling of great Vasim Akram. And uh, when it and I was off spinner myself, so guys like Sakhle and Mustag uh, was one of my favorite because of the Dusra and more variation that he brought into the world of spin bowling. So I would say that uh, as per the role model go, um, I would say apart from my parents, I never looked up to anybody else cricketing wise, but I definitely learned a lot from everybody. Like say if somebody have a good cover drive, I would love like to see how they play that. Or if somebody bowls a good in swinger, I would like to say, okay, can I bowl like him? If, I, if somebody bowls off spin, I said, okay, fine, I can learn this from him. So yeah, not not any particular role model, but a lot of cricketers that I admire. Yes, indeed, I played uh, alongside uh, Shikhar Dhawan, Gautam Gambhir, uh, and then Akash Chopra, Bhai, Ashish Nehra, they were all seniors, and not to mention uh, numerous uh, first-class cricketers like um, Amit Mishra, another test player, and um, Devinder Sharma, and Snegi. Uh, it's, and the list goes on and on. Like when you're playing in a club like LBC, and Sonnet Cricket Club, you're bound to play with past, present or future Indian test players or at least T20 or one day players. So it was a great, great, great experience. Uh, Shikhar was uh, a year younger than me. He was my junior. Me and Gautam were similar age. And uh, Akashvi and Ashish Narabhiya were seniors. So they were very big help in net sessions. Uh, they would always help Tariq sir with, um, you know, running the net sessions. They would, Akash Chopra, especially, as you could now see too, he's into uh, hosting and uh, he's um, very good in uh, analyzing the game. And he's like a sort of cricket guru now. And he always was like that. He was a very sensible guy. He will analyze everything, even at the club level, let alone the first class level. So uh, these small things you learn from him a lot. These guys were very open. You could walk up to them anytime. Uh, apart from when they just got out in a game, you could walk up to them anytime. And uh, they would love to help you out with any uh, problem you're having, whether it's batting or bowling and um, playing alongside Shikhar. And uh, honestly, uh, meeting him every now and then when he's in town, it's always a great pleasure. Very down to earth guy. And, um, you know, we still sit together whenever we meet up, talk back about the young days when there were no worries in life, apart from just going to practices and playing cricket and no responsibility. And uh, now we all are grown up and going along with our own life. And Gautam, uh, he's a different level at this point now. He's into politics and stuff like that. So he's always busy with that. He was always like a, a leader, like a you know role model to a lot of people, even in school cricket. So I'm not surprised he's doing well for himself in politics. So yes, again, guys, uh, it's a very important uh, when you you yourself are a top level player to help out the youngsters and juniors in your academy, it means a lot to them. A little word from you will make a wonder to these kids. So take your time out when you can and help these guys out. It helped me. It will help somebody else. Well, uh, moving to Canada was a family decision. Um, I was 
in no position of making any decision at that point. And uh, yes, it was, uh, I believe at that point, it was uh, India under 16 team selections were around the corner. And so was the Delhi state team. And uh, I mean, uh, Ranji Trophy teams and stuff like that. And um, at that point, I was in such a flow that I was making hundreds after hundreds in probably biggest of the tournaments and I was playing for Sonnet. So uh, coach Tariq Sanasar had um, uh, great things planned for me and they you know, were really sure that uh, if I keep on playing this way, I have a great future ahead of me. But then came the news to uh, from my parents that we are moving to Canada. Everything has gone through. I didn't want to tell anybody before. Now I'm letting you know. Uh, as you're the older son, we will be making this move very soon. And um, it was at that point, there's nothing much you could do because you have to look beyond um, that one particular tournament. Like, you know, overall, what's better for you? At that point, you want to play cricket. But the thing that so my mom sold me at that point was that Canada also have cricket. I said, all right, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to be with my family and can cricket is there in Canada. To Not to the level of India, absolutely not. But um, yes, cricket is there and uh, still is. So uh, when I came to Canada, um, like, you know, it's a daily life was going on and uh, one day my mom stopped by a corner store to pick up bread and milk and I think there was a Sri Lankan guy working behind the counter and he was speaking to somebody about cricket. So my mom only understood the word cricket and she asked him, do you play cricket? He said, yes, ma'am, I do. Uh, and then she told him about myself and the achievements I've done at this age. He said, you know what, here's my number. Tomorrow's Sunday. We'll be practicing indoors. I'll come pick him up from the house. We'll take him there to a club. And when I got to that club, right next to their club was probably the biggest club in Canada, Victoria Park. Was practicing at that point who had seven to eight guys playing at international level for them. So uh, their coach came up to me after they saw me batting and said that, you know what, this is our club. This is what we can do. This is what our structure is. Why don't you come join us? So um, I joined and the first season I played, I think third or fourth game. I single-handedly made 89 or 90, something not out, batting at number 7. And we defeated another top team. And I, bat made, I had a 100-run partnership with number 11 batsman. So it was an amazing win. And uh, fortunately, the selectors of Canada under 19 were sitting over there watching the game. And um, one player had just dropped out due to uh, injury. So right there and then, they said that you are going on this trip. Go tell, speak to your parents. And you will be on the plane, next plane out of air. And then that's it. Never look back. Got amazing opportunities to play at every level. Even one day international, 2020 international, first class, list day, everything. Got to travel the world, meet a lot of people from different culture, make a lot of, made a lot of good friends that I'm still very close with. Um, so yeah, that's how the journey in Canada was. And, um, and then um, right now I'm in England now after married. I got moved, I moved to England and I have my own cricket club here now. I work uh, and I have my own cricket club here and I do a little bit of uh, fun on uh, Facebook with Cricket Chat with Karun. Just try to bring out the message to all the kids listening that club cricket and uh, school cricket and the importance of it. So yeah, like I said, uh, after marriage, I moved to UK. I'm in London. Um, when I moved here, it was a uh, mid-July by that and first year in this country I would have considered as an overseas player so by that time almost every club have secured their overseas player and it was past the deadline to get anyone new anyway so I couldn't play a league but I could have played friendly Sundays so uh, one of my wife's cousin he was into cricket here he took me to his club and uh, luckily in that area where the club is they're not under Surrey League so they don't have a uh, requirement of overseas player or any regulations on that so I was able to play the league and I performed very well in the four or five games that I played and uh, what happened was the teams around that I was playing against one of the team um, made me a very good offer because that involved coaching and being sort of like a director of club their club so I will look after the coaching I look after the recruitment and I will look after the setup even for seniors and juniors so I said you know what that would be a good opportunity for me and also playing in the same team and these guys so I could uh, set up my career as a coach and more importantly learn the ropes of how it's done in this country and how I be more professional about it so uh, yeah that's how it started and uh, 2018 end of 2018 and by that time I've made some very good friends very close friends over here and we all had the same goal we all had the same passion most of work most of us work in the same field around each other. So, uh, and we have played for previous clubs together, most of them. So, um, 
we came together, we formed a cricket club. It's called Surrey Warriors Cricket Club. And uh, last year, sorry, this year, this season was the first season on field. And, um, you know, I'm not surprising, surprised at how well it went down. And it's uh, more uh, room for improvement. We also fielded a team where a women cricketer got a chance to play with us. She's not only a women cricketer, she's also under 19, a junior cricketer. So next year, we're planning to give more juniors and more women cricketers a chance to play in the men's side so they can learn with us. They can learn the strategies, you know, when they play something faster than they normally do in nets, that will only make them a better batsman. And same thing for the bowlers. So yeah, um, it's been a good experience so far. I'm really enjoying uh, the journey that I have right now with my cricket club, my work, my life, and um, uh, my Facebook show podcast. Well, yeah, um, when when I started Crick Chat with Karun, um, uh, there was nothing particular in mind apart from one thing that you know what, I every time I speak to anybody, even when I'm trying to explain somebody the game of cricket, first thing that used to come in my mind was importance of school cricket and club cricket you know and um then i was speaking to my wife one day and you know a lot of time i'll bore her with my analysis and my theories and stuff like that and she said why don't you go and speak to the world about it you know open a podcast i said wait a minute excuse me you got something here going she said yeah like you know you're so knowledgeable about it you have such an experience of playing from players at every level coaching players of all levels and playing around the world so why don't you share that with the kids from around the world so they could learn the importance of studying, the importance of playing cricket in school, concentrating on your studies, your club cricket, importance of uh, your first coach, your you know junior structure, your mates. So I said, you know what, why do I have to come and yap about it every time? You know, I know a lot of players from around the world. I, why don't I just start speaking to people and they come on my show and, uh, you know, join the podcast for like 10, 12 minutes and just share their experience because, you know, kids tend to listen when other people who are at higher level say something. So I said, all right, I'll start doing that. And one brought two, two brought three, three brought four. And uh, I've never had Facebook before that. So I, you know, when I joined the people started adding me i was getting very good response and also negative response which is actually good because negative response about it makes me only better and it makes me perform better come up with more ideas and uh, make myself better so uh, thank you everybody who have responded to me so far and like the show and um, i'll keep on bringing you more and more shows and there's a lot and future of Crick Chat with karun i think um i am enjoying the way it is right now a uh, few other people who are doing it at a larger scale in Canada, US, India have contacted me to work with them. Uh, but at this point, I'm happy enjoying it instead of making it my work. I got, this doesn't bind me by anybody. So I can just do a show when I want, relax when I want. I'm not on a strict schedule because I've also started now bringing footballers. Soon I'll bring hockey players and move on to tennis players because sports is the same. Like, you know, mythology of for an athlete is the same your body works the same way you know fitness diet dedication time management it's all the same so it's good to learn from players playing in different sports and athletes from around the world so yeah Craig Chad and Karun I think is on a, a good path forward and uh, with support of people like you and uh, everybody listening to it I think we will achieve new hope one day I think cricket Kida what you're doing here mate it's a very good thing and uh, I think anything that's done for promotion of anything in the world one day pays off. And you are on the right track, mate. Um, like, you know, you contacted me and I'm in Canada. I'm from Canada living in England. You know, you, you are reaching out to players around the world. And that's a very good sign for any promotion company that you're not just sticking to one particular region. You're looking to explore and expand beyond, above and beyond. So keep it up, mate. And, and once again, it was a pleasure be on your show and um hope to speak to you again sometime very soon good luck to cricket kira guys and please do not forget to subscribe and um click the bell icon thank you